Welcome to my video of a 7447 decoder done in Minecraft. This took me a couple of days to build. It actually took two tries to get one that I sort of liked. So I'll start with a quick fly around the area. There is the actual display itself. I'm on my observation platform. The large buildings with the numbers actually house the logic circuits. And in the back is the, the wiring to actually drive the display segments. I have not knocked myself out to make this particularly efficient. Uh, I've mostly chosen it, uh, the layout just to make it easy to see on here. So there's my observation deck. So there are four switches, uh, eight, four, two, and one, uh, eight on the left, one on the right as we face them here. So I'll start by setting a zero. Presto, a zero. And now I'll turn around and go set a one. Uh, hit the one switch. Said there is lag, it's not super efficient. I'll set a two. Over here, turn off one, turn on two. And two pops up. I'll set a three, and so on and so on. I'm not going to uh, narrate all the numbers, so I'll let you watch that, and uh, then I'll come back as we fly over the logic circuits a bit. So there you have it, the seven segment display decoder. I'll now head out and fly over the buildings. I originally built them, put those numbers on the top so I could see what I was doing, and by the time I got to uh, uh, A or B, I decided not to do that anymore. So, so this is just crashing into uh, a piece of obsidian. Uh, there we go. Uh, these are just the wirings that actually uh, line up the segments. Uh, this is the actual decoder part. Uh, the buildings detect the numbers, uh, the actual segment decoding is right there. And now we'll take turns going through uh, each of the buildings as soon as I wander over to one here. So the, the buildings, each of the buildings holds three digit uh, detections uh, built in, in three dimensions. So uh, just to save space, one of the changes I made for for this one. So right in front of you is an AND gate, a little NOT gate there as well. A NOT gate is a stone block with a single torch on the front. An AND gate are these things here, three blocks with uh, two torches on top, one in front, and a little redstone. Another AND gate there. I'm not going to explain all the logic because that would take all the fun out of it, but uh, essentially how this works is that these logic circuits 
come true only on one particular number. So they essentially detect the 16 positions of the switch or switches and then out at the back uh, that was an OR gate, that little mess on the ground. You'll see it there, right there. That's an OR gate for three inputs. Uh, so yeah, they, these logic circuits detect the position of the switches and then output true on a single number and then the wiring in the back for the seven segment decoder uh, actually determines which segment is off and then I invert it. So it turns the segments on that need to be on. Uh, that seems to be a little bit more efficient than actually turning, figuring out which segment has to be on at any given time. It's easier to figure out which ones have not to be on. So that's a four-way OR gate, which is kind of cool. OR gates are much easier to do because you can just run the wires together. Uh, AND gates require that little stone and torch jobby. I think there's one NAND gate in here. Uh, actually, I can't remember. And I might see it if I go by, and if I do, I'll bring it up. Uh, originally this was built with monsters on and creepers would come and explode things so uh, I started building it in obsidian and I also turned off the monsters when I got tired of rebuilding uh, blown up redstone. So in some cases I actually wrote what the logic is but uh, on the small size of the video you can't really see it so it doesn't really matter. As I said, uh, leave it as an exercise for the cadet to uh, figure out the logic for it. It, it is not especially difficult. Uh, I think the most complicated one has four a uh, delay of four, so four statements or, or four logic gates in it. Uh, most of them only have two or three. Zero is the easiest one. I think it has two, uh, and it's uh, mostly a four-way OR gate. In fact, when you're building these things, OR gates, because you can do them with diodes, which are these little lit-up things on the ground, uh, you can make an infinite-sized OR gate without any pain, really, whatsoever. Uh, Multi-pronged AND gates, or AND gates with um, more than two inputs, are a little bit difficult, so I didn't bother to do any, and it probably causes me some inefficiencies. This is the actual wiring of the display. I've used redstone lamps and uh, put them on a block of obsidian. The G segment actually goes through the middle of the obsidian. Uh, 